Electric vehicles, EVs, were supposed to be the next big thing, but interest in them is fading. Even though more people own EVs now, fewer are thinking about buying one. Why are so many Americans still hesitant? Let's find out what's keeping them from embracing electric cars. While there's been a small rise in the number of EV owners, from 4% to 7%, interest in buying one isn't growing. In fact, the percentage of people seriously considering an EV has dropped from 12% to 9%. And when we look at future interest, only 35% of Americans are considering an EV, down from 43% last year. This indicates a shrinking enthusiasm for electric cars, with less than half of adults, 44%, now considering or open to buying one, a significant drop from 55% in 2023. Meanwhile, the number of people firmly saying they won't buy an EV has jumped from 41% to 48%. So why is this happening? Well, it's part of a bigger trend. Automakers are scaling back their investments in EVs, and even the Biden administration has has adjusted its emission targets because the expected surge in EV demand hasn't materialized. Remember the ambitious goal of having 60% of new vehicles be electric by 2030? That's looking increasingly unlikely unless there's a dramatic change in consumer preferences. Despite hefty government subsidies designed to boost EV sales, they still make up only about 7% of new car purchases. And recent data shows that interest is waning, with nearly half of current EV owners contemplating a return to traditional gasoline or diesel vehicles. This shift in consumer attitudes is evident in the 2024 Gallup poll, which shows a decrease in interest in EVs. Fewer Americans are considering EVs in the future, and the proportion of those not interested has increased. Practical issues such as charging infrastructure and long-distance travel challenges make EVs less appealing as primary vehicles. Big car manufacturers like Ford, GM, and Mercedes-Benz are already delaying or scaling back their EV plans, and rental companies like Hertz have even sold off their EV fleets due to poor performance performance. Despite these clear signals from the market, some lawmakers are still pushing hard for more EV adoption through mandates and subsidies. Instead of leaning heavily on mandates and subsidies, it's essential to let the market drive the future of electric vehicles, EVs. If EVs genuinely provide superior value, consumers will naturally prefer them. The fact that many current EV owners are even considering switching back to traditional vehicles suggests that policymakers need to rethink their strategy. Instead of pushing EVs onto consumers, it's important to understand why the market isn't embracing them more enthusiastically. We need to find the reasons behind the reluctance. For this, let's explore the factors that are dampening the demand for electric vehicles. Number 5. Price Range Let's tackle the biggest barrier first, price. Electric vehicles, EVs, often come with a hefty price tag, typically costing at least $10,000 more than a comparable gas-powered car. Joseph McCabe from Auto Forecast Solutions highlights that this steep cost is a major roadblock for many potential buyers. Although government and incentives and rebates can help reduce this initial expense, the high price of EVs remains a significant concern. For those already managing tight budgets, the idea of spending so much more on a car can be daunting. Even with the promise of lower fuel costs down the line, the upfront cost is hard to justify for many. This financial hurdle makes it challenging for a broader range of consumers to consider making the switch to an EV. The added expense can feel like a major obstacle, especially when compared to more affordable gas-powered options. Until the price of EVs becomes more competitive, this issue will likely continue to be a significant barrier to wider adoption. Number 4. Charging Costs and Inconvenience Next up is the issue of charging. You might assume that charging an electric vehicle EV, is cheaper than buying gas, and it can be if you're charging at home. At home, electricity costs are generally lower than gas prices, making it a cost-effective option. However, the situation changes drastically when you need to rely on public charging stations. Using public chargers can quickly become expensive. Unlike home charging, where you can offer often save money, public charging stations may have higher rates and the costs can add up fast, especially if you need to use them frequently. Additionally, finding a reliable and accessible charger can be a real challenge. The current charging infrastructure isn't as widespread or user-friendly as it needs to be. According to a report by AAA, 56% of people are turned off by the lack of convenient charging options. Imagine being stuck in a remote location with a depleted battery and having to wait for a charger to become available. It's not just a minor inconvenience it can be a real deal breaker for many potential buyers. The idea of having to hunt for a charging station and deal with downtime while your vehicle charges is a significant drawback, especially for those who are used to the quick and easy process of refueling at a gas station. For many drivers, this hassle makes the switch to an EV less appealing. Number 3. Depreciation Concerns Another concern is depreciation. Recent data shows that the value of used electric vehicles, EVs, has dropped by nearly 20% in just the past year. That's a 
massive hit to your car's value and a major red flag for anyone thinking about buying an EV. Greg Brannon from AAA points out that this steep decline makes EVs look riskier compared to traditional cars, which tend to hold their value better. Imagine this, you buy an EV and before you know it, its value has dropped significantly. For many people, that's enough to make them think twice. When you invest in a vehicle, you want to feel confident that it's going to be worth something down the road. The fast appreciation of EVs can make potential buyers nervous, wondering if their investment will quickly lose value as new models and technology hit the market. This concern about losing a chunk of their investment is a real deal breaker for a lot of folks. Number two, range anxiety. Then there's the issue of range anxiety, one of the biggest hurdles for electrical vehicle EV adoption. Even with top of the line EVs that claim over 300 miles of range on a single charge, this might not be enough for some drivers. Picture yourself planning a long road trip from San Francisco to Los Angeles. With an EV, you might need to make multiple stops to recharge along the way. This not only adds extra time to your trip, but also introduces a level of stress that many people find frustrating. The anxiety of potentially running out of battery power before reaching a charging station is a genuine concern. It's not just about the inconvenience of having to find a charger, it's about the worry that you might be stuck in an unfamiliar place with no charging options nearby. This fear can be a major deterrent, especially for those used to the simplicity of quick refueling at a gas station. When you're used to the convenience of stopping for gas and getting back on the road quickly, the idea of having to constantly plan your trips around available charging stations can seem like a hassle. The uncertainty of charging availability and the time it takes can make EVs seem less practical for long journeys. Until the range anxiety issue is addressed and charging infrastructure improves, this concern will continue to be a significant factor keeping some consumers from making the switch to electric vehicles. Number 1. Popularity of Hybrids Finally, let's talk about hybrids, which are quietly leading the charge in vehicle sales despite all the buzz around EVs. Take Toyota for example. They offer over 20 hybrid models that blend electric and gasoline power. This combination delivers impressive fuel efficiency while sidestepping the constant need for charging. For many drivers, this balance is a game changer. Hybrids offer a practical solution for those who want the benefits of electric driving but aren't quite ready to go fully electric. They're often more affordable than their all-electric counterparts and offer greater convenience for long-distance travel. Unlike EVs, which require frequent charging stops, hybrids can rely on gasoline for longer trips, eliminating range anxiety. The cost-effectiveness and practicality of hybrids makes them an appealing choice for many drivers. You get the eco-friendly advantages of electric power, but with the flexibility and reliability of a traditional gasoline engine. This combination often makes hybrids a more attractive option for those looking to avoid the inconveniences associated with EV charging. No wonder hybrids are gaining popularity among consumers who want the best of both worlds without the hassle. They provide a smart middle ground between the cost and convenience of conventional cars and the environmental benefits of electric vehicles. As the automotive market evolves, hybrids continue to be a top choice for drivers seeking an effective and practical alternative to full electric models. So what do you think? Are these concerns enough to keep you from going electric, or do you see a future where EVs become more appealing? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with friends who might be on the fence about EVs, and subscribe for more content that keeps you in the loop on the latest trends and technologies. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.